Greetings family, this is Bomani Tayemba. Today is uh, Sunday, October 27th. This conference call is in reference to our Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community in Ghana. Now what we're looking to do is to continue our conference call from our conversations approximately uh, four weeks ago. And we, we sent out a PDF document, which was an overview of this community. And the overview just talked about all the rules, regulations, all of um, just the overview as far as how the project worked. And just open to as many questions as possible on that document still. But uh, what we're going to continue on into is the newsletter that was sent um, from MailChimp and also I resend it um, uh, twice, once two weeks ago and a reminder today. And so what I also did was just uh, modified the newsletter a little bit uh, and added some black star energy in it, in it. And also if anyone has listened to uh, what we're talking about and uh, you're new to the conference call or maybe someone shared information and you're not clear about what documents you're talking about and, and we're talking about an overview, uh, the community overview of what we're working on. So that's something that uh, you can always uh, send me a request uh, via email and I'll send you, uh, send you the document. Our goal is also to you know, to do final modifications on a document once we get all of the legal paperwork back for our community. All right, so to get right into the conference call uh, topic, the list of topics I have uh, number one: uh, first community voted completed for voting on our community name. Name Black Star was the first and third most popular name. Uh, second was Freedom, and tied for fourth was Harriet Tubman, Kwame Nkrumah, and New Diaspora. So we adopted the repatriation and Pan-African community to Black Star to close the deal. The full name is Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. So uh, since this is too long, the legal name sent to our lawyer in Ghana is Black Star Pan-African Community. Uh, just for clarity, uh, all paperwork will be done in that name and sent via email to update everyone on the progress. Uh, so the community voting, you click on the link from the newsletter and it'll just show you the, a nice little graph of people who voted. You know, we definitely would have had more, love to have more people participate in name recommendation and also final voting. But you know, nevertheless, looking to organize a project where we can work it as a communal project uh, since it's something that's being put together to benefit a group of people uh, working on a community. Uh, so. I'm fine with uh, doing certain level of organizing, but at the same time, to uh, anyone that want to call me and reach out to me about what's going on, uh, any updates, or you know, see where they can help based on what we actually have going on, uh, that would definitely work. Uh, so throughout the day, I'm available, and this is what I work on: Africa tours and investment, uh, including this community, uh, which is just the main, you know, main mission that uh, we're working on as a people uh, to eventually build what we need to build so we can operate and live, do business uh, there in Ghana in our own community where we can recycle the resources so we can build all the things we need to build and get away from this, the world of modern day slavery uh, and just operate more communal. So, you know, one of those, uh, the ultimate uh, you know, plan, um, yeah, but nevertheless, uh, doing tours has been a great way to introduce and connect a lot of people to the world of even thinking about wanting to travel, live, and do business uh, in Ghana. So that is the first community voting. Working this process, we look to literally just use the same method to, to do many things and, uh, and also similar method. Uh, but it's one of those things we do our best to send a you know, message via email, text, um, and send you know, details based on the Facebook uh, group page that we have. So those are just uh, the flow of communication. But uh, like I was saying, family, nevertheless, anyone that's open to communicate or one knows what's going on and maybe you not, you know, been out of the loop or so, reach out and we can communicate. Absolutely open for that. Uh, so now what I want to do is move on to the se second uh, topic. Uh, update on legal aspect of the community, surveying of the initial 10 to 20 acres of land. Uh, so I received a uh, survey paperwork from my lawyer. It's a um, draft copy, so 
I try not to send out these things like that, but I did share it with our WhatsApp group page. But uh, something that um, I requested that they scan and put it in an email and just, you know, send it to where, save it and organize it and get it out with other documents and make sure when, once everyone opens it, it looks nice and neat. No one's fingers on there or nothing is cut off or anything like that. So and it's one of those things where, you know, you just have to be clear with people on those things. But I want to at least uh, get that to a few people who, you know, in our group page who were, were looking for those dimensions to organize some ideas for us as far as a community layout. Uh, so this say uh, 10 to 20 acres. So the explanation of that and when I do that explanation, I'll go to what I sent our group page earlier. Now this is a draft of the site plan um, and it's set for 23 acres. And what I want to do, let me see if I can just pull up the documents and get it shared for those who are watching. This is a, a rough draft of the site plan of land set for 23.67 acres. Now we're going to get a memorandum of understanding that will break down that we'll pay for the first 10 acres and then we'll move on the next uh, 13 acres. So that way um, we can lock in as much acres as possible for a set price. Now this uh, price is locked in at $6,000 per acre. Right. So this is organizing ourselves to start out on a smaller scale uh, to be able to just work this project. Also, just email the final version uh, to everyone, um, and it will have typed up text in detail. As the goal to begin to just make sure everybody get these organized documents clear. That way, for those who have questions and need clarity, or maybe it's something that don't look right, or maybe something that you overlook, or just whatever it could be. Have a conversation with us now versus you know, later. So with this uh, layout, uh, this is what you need to actually submit to the land search department in Cape Coast, which is the region that we're in, uh, which is the central region, but the location of the Lands Commission is in Cape Coast. They'll put this together with the legal name of the landowner and they'll do a search in the database and um, what, what we're looking to get is all of the detailed search documents together and in this document and that will be the first wave of documentation that will be given uh, to know that the land is clear, everything is good and then we're going to work on uh, getting another document to where the land is being tested, uh, certain things are clear, um, uh, proximity to the beach is not going to affect certain things. Uh, just those uh, clear documents that way we just build a good foundation to make sure that we're all clear and on the right page uh, right away. Uh, it's a nice, exciting project, close to the beach and everything, but I uh, want to make sure that we don't do what uh, we've seen other people do, just like leave out a whole lot of steps. Uh, so um, I talked with our lawyer today, uh, Richard, and you know we just talked about making sure that everything that we do is just organized and all the legal basis is covered, and that we, we don't have get into any drama with anything from people saying they own the land or just any other things that you could have think of that you heard uh, from any land drama story. So just wanted to just be upfront with people and let everyone know that this is you know the kind of flow we're working at. But unfortunate part about that, it takes a little time. Uh, even the money that I wired, um, most of it uh, to a lawyer, you know, to pay the deposit and to pay for certain surveys, that took a while to get there. Um, and you know, these are just the things you deal with um, to just get things going. But the goal is to get um, a few people out there to take some good pictures for us. And then when we do our Ghana tour, I will be there December 29th. And we'll have a good amount of time to actually walk, to, drive to the beach and just check the space out. And I mean, check, check the land out, get some good recordings. And also the goal is to get the lawyer and the landowner to, to be at a private conference with a few other people for us in December. So those are some of the things we can organize and just build a level of documentation uh, and you know, for me, the documentation is important because it gives clarity and just makes sure that we all flow in the same direction. And we, you know, at any point, anyone see that certain things are not flowing in a certain direction, it's up to you to communicate so we can get back on the right track. So again, just putting out that everyone is also responsible, especially for those who have put money down on the project already. 
and we're transferring them over from the old project uh, to this project. And on uh, other notes, as far as uh, transferring, for those who have already filled out applications and things like that, everything is just a smooth transfer. Um, paperwork name will be changed, um, and everything will be put in a new folder, and everything. So the goal is to make you feel like you didn't skip much of a beat um, and get us back to the level where we were, we thought we were on to where we can say, hey, I'm ready to build, and this is who I'm looking to build my home, and this is what I'm looking to get done, and then it's just it just get approved right away. It's nothing that we have any, anyone blocking or stopping us. I'm a community member just like everyone else. It's just the fact that I've put up some of our resources in business to make this work uh, since we have the connections, the, the flow of certain things already that you know was used to help other projects. So we're just using this for ourselves and then other people are also contributing their energy and their skills. So, you know, so you know, it's something that's coming together nice and uh, organized. So for everyone else, um, um, you know, you'll follow the same flow of rules that you see in the, the overview as far as applications and submit certain documents. Um, and those who were on the previous project, uh, there's no administration cost because it's like a transfer over. So you know, things like that is put in the overview of the uh, document that I put together. And then things like that will put together once we change over the name and send everybody fresh um, transfer receipts and things like that. So for everyone that have traveled with me uh, and saw uh, saw the last project and everyone that's literally on that project that even if you haven't seen it, that's what I'm looking to do just to get us updated. So uh, our next conference call is set for December 8th. Um, I'll be in South Africa at the end of next month. Uh, so I'm going to use that time to make sure we have everything together to make December 8th more of a conference call where we just say we got all of this together and we, we can move forward. Uh, so, and by that time, we'd have had enough time to look to all the other things already. That's the, that's for those details for those of us, uh, like I said, was on the previous project. Um, everything is set in reference to compensate, to offer as much credit and much of whatever we can, um, any kind of price reduction or all those things to basically compensate as much of any loss that you've taken on the last project. And as based on the last project also, we received 25% of our uh, refund that uh, we negotiated for. So painfully working on the next 75% and these crazy things are just more political and crazy than and people like myself are open to. But nevertheless, being patient and just working it, I got our brother um, on the ground, um, our consultant for that project, David, just doing his best to work on it and everything. And you know, and you know, everyone who's working on this new project know the situation, and so we're doing our best to make sure we take care of everyone and make sure everybody is accommodated because that's what you know we specialize in. Uh, so what I'm going to do also, I'm going to connect my brother Kofi and. Greetings, brother. Greetings, brother. Greetings, family. All right, Cody, you going? Yeah. All right, All right great, how, how are you? How are you feeling? Feeling great. Magnificent. Great family. How's everyone doing? All right, cool. For those who don't know you, I'll just give everybody uh, your old name, your new name, uh, how you connected with us, and um, the direction where we're going. Okay, yeah, I'm Brother Kofi, uh, formerly just uh, Jonathan Hill. Uh, received my day name uh, when I came on the November 2018 tour with uh, Omani, uh, went to Ghana, and um, visited all the several places in Cape Coast, Accra, and Kamasi, and we ended the tour um, visiting the, the former site that we were looking at, and uh, now we've moved on to um, working on our own project, and we're going to proceed with things there. Um, what I wanted to do quickly, family, is go over the um, the site plan. So if everyone could um, please pull it up. I was just going to go over some of the <coughs> technical references in regards to it. Uh, not everybody's going to have it, but what I do have it on is it's on the shared screen uh, for those who are logging okay. in. But nevertheless, it's something that, um, and it's on the WhatsApp uh, group, which most people are not on, which 
You know, it's it's just okay. you best explain. Like I was just explaining certain reference to okay. it. Okay, yeah, just looking at on the shared screen there, um, you know, first of all, you got, you have the, the title, Plan of the Land. Um, as Bamani said, this is something that would be uh, turned in uh, to the local authorities um, uh, when we're looking to uh, lay out our land. Uh, we have the, the title, uh, Black Star Pan-African Community. Uh, the top right corner, it shows the area, the square, square acreage, of 23.67 or 9.58 hectares. Uh, in the top left corner, you see the scale. It says 1 to 2,500. Now, family, um, what that means is it's a representative uh, rate ratio scale. And uh, what it is is a way for the map to uh, depict the scale on the map. So in this example, is 1 out of 2,500 which means that one, cent one centimeter equals 2,500 centimeters. Um, and what they're saying is one, cent one centimeter on the map is equal to 25 meters in real life. So uh, when you change scales, it makes it more sense to understand the distance. Um, the st in, in this case, I would say when we actually redo the map, we would have a stated scale. So instead of saying one in 2,500, we say one centimeter equals 25 meters, making it easier for the reader. Um, uh, below that, you have, uh, throughout the top, you have the locality. Let me just pull it up. And the locality is uh, Etiquero, Winneba, which is like that's the local municipality, local city. Then you have the district. Afudu, which is the municipality, and then the region is the central region. That's the part of Ghana that we're in. <clears throat> Below that, across the top, are the uh, latitudes going from 1049, 500 east, all the way to 1051, 500 east. And then, you know, along the, the bottom is the, the longitudes. Um, then you below that, you have the... the a table that says plan data, and there it breaks down the four segments that make up our, our community. And, you know, within that segment, that's the actual 23.67 acres. Um, shows the X and Y coordinates for each one of those segments. <clears throat> and then when you actually look at it, uh, you'll see it within the square, you see segment one, segment two, segment three, and segment four. The numbers on the top, Above the red line, uh, again, those those show the longitude, excuse me, the latitude, and the ones below that is the actual distance. So for segment one, we have 1031.4 up top, and then below that is 232.07. Uh, All right, at the very bottom, we have it signed off by a professional licensed surveyor. Uh, says J.K. Borsaw, says the licensed surveyor certified that this plan is faithfully and correctly executed and accurately shows the land within the limits of the description given to me by the client. And it will be dated and signed later on. Then you have an approved seal, and then it shows the surveying and mapping division. Um, that would complete – this is just a, a – Example of a of a of a site plan. So, obviously, from a site plan, we could take this and make our own community sketch. What we want to add in um, later from that dictate, you know, what type of zoning, what type of um, other additional infrastructure we want to add to it. But this is the basis of a of a, of a site plan here. Keep in mind when we're looking at maps, family, we're always looking at that scale and um, you know, depending on how we want to present it, make the, the ratio scale a better equipped for the reader. So one centimeter equals 25 meters would be perfect. And just really showing and dictating what we have on the map, make it easier. And that's all I have. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate uh, you breaking yeah. it down. And family, that yeah. is um, a layout that um, we're going to have 
put together nice and neat and organized. Yeah. That's one of the foundation uh, layouts. Um, and and the goal is just to get all the documentation. That way, everything is you know, together and including the, the legal name will be an enterprise. Um, so we have our own enterprise and we just, you know, we can just legally just move forward. Uh, so it's something that uh, organizing this, you know, is a nice, good energy for us. Uh, you know, and that's why we ask for everyone to more into a group focus and organize. And for those who just are not in that level or in that mindset, uh, you know, they can find other projects. But definitely want to have the right people so we can connect together and just, you know, build something, you know, you know something that we, we as a people should have built uh, many times over on the African continent, but you know, even as we see, it's not that simple. But uh, nevertheless, we have a great chance and opportunity uh, to this, you know, to deliver uh, where other people may may not have. Uh, so, our brother Kofi, uh, one last thing. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Um, number three, I got uh, vision for Black Star repatriation and Pan African community. Um, so what is uh, the vision that you see overall um, and the things that we can accomplish as a people? I think the vision for, for what we have is starting off with this community. I think we start off with this community with uh, however many people we're bringing over. We did, we, we're like a stepping stone. We're the, we're the, the foundation. Because, you know, we have, as everyone knows, there's, there's a whole bunch of individuals that have that have gone over to Ghana and to other other countries on the continent. But I, you know, all in all, I don't know if there's any other actual full full scale community. So when we're building a community, this is something new and something different. Um, number one, um, this is something that has been long overdue. You know, going back to 400 years, 500 years, something that's completely free of Yorubu, with something of our own doing, something that's, you know, our great ancestor, the Honorable uh, Marcus Masai Garvey wanted for us. Um, number two, we're in a uh, current age where people are looking at it where Pan-Africanism is dead. And this is a, a standing testament to show that it's not dead. Number three, like I said, this is a foundation and it's a stepping stone. We're we, we are the literally the pioneers. So if we're we we, we commit to building this community, uh, it's 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 going to be payoffs not just for us later on, but for um the group that comes after us, the generation that comes after us. So we have to to do our part, be diligent and and come on board, put our money where our mouth is, put our time where our mouth is, and and succeed in building a community you know what i'm saying we have to succeed in building this community so the vision is you know building a actual community for our people from the diaspora they include those that are on the continent but building something for them to come back to and uh from there to, you know to eventually if we if we build it correctly we can have some influence in the, in the local region and and go from there but you know, but I think before we're talking nation building and all that, we start with this, and um, you know, that's my vision. All right, excellent. Um, appreciate the energy, and um, and it's something that uh, you know, those of us that's interested to looking to build onto the future, you know, it's something that you know we have to literally see. Uh, so um, right now we're just building a foundation energy to, as you can see, it's only twenty. Uh, 23 acres of land, so it's not a huge project to fit a whole lot of people. Uh, so, and um, want to use it as a, and you know, we want to use it as a nice repatriation, repatriation, and pan-African community that harness the best of our minds uh, to build, you know, you know, to be very effective on the continent. Um, and as I traveled, you know, throughout the African continent. Honestly, you don't really see a lot of seriousness about us as a people coming together, building, and you know, that's what it is. I'm not downplaying anything. This it's just the reality. I've known that from when I first started uh, the business that we're in, and know that it was just a path that those of us who are open to have to pave and lead the way. And my brother Kofi uh, just said so. 
And uh, what we're doing is trying our best, and we go doing all the steps that we can imagine do, and that's why we take the feedback that we get from individuals that communicate throughout the week and use it as a way to put what we have together. Uh, so it's uh, so what you see is just it's a work in progress from you know from a, you know, a collective group of energy, especially those of us who are on the last project that it didn't work for the majority of us. So people want to be more inclusive of what they're looking to build, which I'm all for. Um, you know, you know, all of us, you know, it's like you know you want to. You know, you know, you want to be clear about your investments and what you're building, and want to make sure that you know you're not being organized into a cult and things like that. Because you know, that's the reality of situations. Um, you know, sometimes you know, those of us who organize things for the rest of us don't you know, don't look at it that way. But we end up doing it in a way where it just it kills the purpose of what we intended it to do for us. So if the goal was to be free and nation build. And end up feeling like you know it's a form of this not being free. Uh, so just being clear with everyone that this is a project for those of us. Uh, the foundation of some things that we talked about as far as who is allowed and what type of people we're looking for, look to connect. That you know, that's not really uh, that's not a change. Uh, it's uh, it's okay. not that uh, historical energy. Um, so in the same situation. All right. So what I want, what I want to do is just uh, open things up. Um, as we go through uh, this uh, conference call email that was sent, and last thing we left off at was three vision for Black Star repatriation and Pan African community. Uh, so, anyone have any questions about anything that we've talked about, including updates, um, uh, the document that we did last conference call? Press star six to unmute yourself, uh, give your name, where you're calling from, your question. Renee from Los Angeles. Uh, green Can you hear me? How you doing? Okay, so I heard Kofi go over uh, a list of items for the vision. So, is there a committee actually doing a vision statement for our community? Um, there's no one working on that. Uh, but oh, that's, okay. It's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a simple thing for us to organize. That's why we have a WhatsApp uh, group page for those to share those ideas and to communicate. Um, so, for the people who have already committed. Up to us, and when you know when certain things are done, um, take the initiative and move forward with it. But you know, trying to keep things open to, for those who want to say, "I'm going to work on this, and this is this," and then communicate. But since we're waiting for you know some of the you know documents and things, you know we're doing our best. Those of us who are make it work for us. Yeah, still going ahead. So my follow-up question was, um, okay, so now that we have the uh, surveyor, we're moving on to having the land registered. And so by the time December 8th gets here, we'll have a clearer idea of uh, when we actually need to uh, give more money for our plot. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, you can get right. We can literally just get right into that situation by then. Um, uh, so. Well, so what you're looking to get done, um, since uh, this part is almost finished because it still has to be st stamped and clear, uh, but it's initial information I needed to get a land search done. Um, and the, the land search, and once the land search is done, we've got to get a memorandum of understanding. So it's a few documents, but uh, to answer your point directly, uh, yes, December 8th is the goal to, for them to just get all of that done. I should be more than enough time. Um, so I was promised everything in the next two to three um Three weeks. The, the goal is just to get everything to everyone, give everybody a chance to process everything, and we'll work on a situation where everything literally is being done in the business name that we have. So it, now it, it's easy for any of us to, you know, for you to pick a portion of your land and say, hey, I'm going to get this surveyed and this registered as my entity of land, and so on. So even with the um, the rough draft of the site plan, we can build a perimeter of a layout of what the community could be like and where we can put different people and you know for people want extra plots and things like that. You know, so all those things we're going to be a little clear based on this this one document. So we're you know on our way, on our way and things are looking good. And also whenever you or anyone that's ready to go see the land or want to go by, uh, you can do it as soon as 
um, uh, early next month. Uh, so that would open, you know, and then we'll be able to build something to where it's more than the sort of open space of land. But just to let everyone know that um, we've made some level of progress. And for those who are even in Ghana and uh, want to go by, we just have to arrange it with either the, um, the attorney or a consultant, uh, or we can just get one or two other people. You know, we'll get it to where it's a little smoother, where and we have a welcome center and all those wonderful things. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Momani, this is Barbara. Hi, right, greetings, Barbara. How are you? Good. I'm fighting a flu, so please bear with me. Absolutely. Um, for those of us who were just completing our application packet and who had not spent any money, seeing at anything, where do we stand at this? Point. I mean, how should we proceed? Should we be getting our packet into you? Should we be sending our administrator um, $500 or? No, it's, it's one of those things where I have to create the email and put all this stuff together for every, anyone that's interested to get started. Uh, and it's basically the same thing that's in the overview to get certain documents together. But the, the application is one of those things where once you have the name legally set, uh, I'm going to use that to put on every paperwork that we have. That, that's the goal. So you'll be able to fill out that application. If you fill, if you fill out an application before, what I'll do is this. There's only a few things I need to change on the application, uh, which is just the heading. Um, and then unless I get some feedback, we need to remove certain things. Um, uh, but just everything's almost the same. And then I'll you know, set the address to where to mail everything into. And, account to write it into and basically be representing you. Literally uh, still got a whole lot to get organized before we move there, but for people who want to get started, you can literally get all your documents and those things together and then just you know, be on standby. And then for those who are more into the mode of ready to, to build or ready to know what they want to build, then they can use in the information that we send out that's 100 by 80 um, for the plot. And begin to organize certain things, but you know we don't have those restrictions for building and things as we put in the document. So I don't want to pressure anyone, but everyone can kind of get started with as much as they can get started. Um, everything is looking good, but at the same time too, we just you know, it, it's like you know have to still wait, wait, wait to get everything okay. done before we actually just move forward. But at least by then we will have everything in motion. And for those who want an application and ready to get started. You know, it's, they'd have to send it to me by email request right now, and I'll send them what we have. And then once we get the name finalized, I'll just change it over to that name. Okay, cool. How's it been? Um, I know you're excited about making this move, and we, we, know, we know we're working hard for you. Well, things are working out good. I'm uh, still on. I'm sorry. Um, my mom is buying my house. And I'll actually be looking at moving uh, April and May. Renee and I are working together, so we're planning um, we're planning our moves down the same time, so we can get started building maybe as early as June. That's perfect, right there. That is perfect. Then more and more of us are ready to make the move, and and that's why it's so important that uh, you know explain to our attorney that him and everyone that's involved that you have to make sure that we do everything to make sure people are good and don't let our folks down. Our people have been, you know, because so many people are ready to make this move. And Ghana is one of the few countries that we all know um, that's, you know, that's, you know, that we have this invitation and we have this connection and we have this energy. I mean, other countries there, but the program is not in place as it is in Ghana. Um, so I'm happy that you went there before and you, you enjoyed it and now you're looking to make the move in. Hopefully you can share with other people once you start getting you know, things in motion. Exactly. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, cool, perfect. All right, cool, so let me mute you and get the next uh, call. Okay. <coughs> greetings. This is Kaladi Afezio. Can you hear me? Uh, greetings, uh, Kaladi. Can you hear loud and clear? Oh, great. My question is kind of for Kofi. Uh, I'm 
Uh, what is the process going to be for developing the landing? The, what, what's the plan for the, the landing? What, what? What's the process going to be for building the land use plan? I guess maybe oh. Oh, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Oh yeah, excellent question. Um, that I mean, that's going to be something that I mean, obviously, that's going to be um, brought together with all of us. We're going to sit and decide what we want as a group. That's what our ancestors would want. That's what we want. We sit and decide what what we we um, want as far as zoning. You know, what what do we want? How, how much? How much of the? I guess currently twenty three point six seven acres that we want devoted just for residential use. I mean, obviously, right. we're going to want a, a commercial plot, just like we did with Garvey Town. We're going to obviously want land, lots of land set aside for our gardening, you know what I'm saying, our community right. gardens, and then some of it set aside for educational purposes, or, you know, sports purposes. So that would be the the, the beginning of it is, is, is um, the consistency building. That's, that's the very beginning of it. From there... Uh, we would draft up what we want, you know, whether using our GIS or whatever, make the actual uh, site layout plan, different color coding for the different zones of how we want it. And then from there, we go into the, ske the sketching phase. Now we got the zones, now we're going to actually make it, you know, visible through a sketch. Actual um, jobs of buildings, you know, whether it's the houses, the gardens, whatever it is, and make it a visual, and then and then from there we execute. You know that's that's, okay. that's what I know. Maybe maybe okay. you know others yeah. might have something else to say, but that's that's as far as what I know. That's that's how we have it. But regardless, we'd have to get with a local uh, municipality there and to see what are their you know local zone costs if we have to fall into adherence to that. You know maybe maybe. They only have uh, this this uh, area can only be zoned for residential, and maybe there's a small part just like here in America. There's there's, there's uh, always um, contingencies with how there could be a, a a certain area can have a little bit of commercial, you know. So we have to make sure of all those things going in. Because I'm thinking as we develop what I collectively develop what the priorities mm -hmm. are for the first 10 acres. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it going to be, well, it's something that we'll have to do collectively, but it's also something mm -hmm. that we'll have to uh, find out if there are any restrictions on what we can do from the standpoint of the municipality or from the standpoint of of uh, the land department or whatever. And that's a re that's kind of a research project, and I was just um, querying you about that because I was interested in how that was going to go. But I appreciate your well, answer. Thank you so much. Well, no, I mean, let's say me and you could get together, or whoever else we get together, we could, we could. Maybe, I think that's probably the most important thing is checking with the local municipality first, to seeing what we can do on the land. You know, what I'm saying as a as opposed to getting into a a, a stimulus block later. So I think I think that is that really is of the um, utmost importance to see what we can and cannot do on the land. Does there need to be um, stormwater in place? Like I don't know how if it's if it's like over here, the the first thing that they do well you know, first thing they do here is they look at the, the zoning, then they look at the, the natural features. They see okay is this is this land have um, certain trees that can't be cut down or is this land dedicated to um, conservation district? You know things like that. Right. And then they go and they and, do ha and, and they do have that as, because there's certain. I learned that while yeah. I was in Ghana about um, they have uh, some environmental restrictions, kind of like we do. In fact, about certain trees can yeah. be cut down and that kind of thing. Right, right. So we we dealing with this now. We're in the central district now, so we gotta. We gotta really see what you know, what's going on. See what we to see if they yeah. have some environmental constraints and, and what requirements, not only restrictions, but what requirements there are. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then I guess from there, I guess then 
after that, then we would come together and see, okay, this is the requirements, these are the constraints, what do we want to do? Right. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll work with you on it. You know, that's kind of some of my background. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, you know, the two of us can put our heads together and anybody else that wants to. Hey, uh, I know I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm listening to you, brother. So I, I, I'll shoot you my number. <laughs> um, or I, I, actually, I just shared my number right now for everyone. Um, I got a new number. I don't know if you're ready. Um, but um, my phone number is 850-363-7055. Okay, let's make it, yeah. let's make it a point of touching basis. In the very near future. Oh, yes, yeah, I've been meeting the talk to you for a while. And same with um, Brother you, Solomon, too. I'll text you at that number and, and give you my number and okay. other contact information. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, family, like I said, like that's that's probably like the most important thing is, is dealing with, um, maybe try to get the sisters and brothers there to on the ground to see if they could talk to the, the local land commission to see what we can and cannot do. That's the, that's the, that's the first and most important thing. Like even here, that's just the first thing you do with any development. See what you cannot do, see what, see what is wrong, what is it totally wrong. Perfect, our brother Kofi. So as you can see, family, uh, to even build a foundation of this uh, project, um, you know, we have to have so many different things. So. Um, always open to volunteers of those who are open to doing the work and communicating and sending the email and our goal is to put all these things together um, uh, that way we can attract serious people who literally want to invest because there's more land there so if someone say that they want 10 acres of land to build something you know, more commercial or do certain things you know we as a uh, community entity you know would you know would negotiate that and help them and other people just you know to to you know, do big projects like that, so this is a foundation where you know we can actually just you know do many other things. Uh, you know, especially for those of us who want to do certain things, because a good amount of us are bringing business together, and uh, you know the the impact that we can make is incredible. I mean, all these things have to be a little bit more laid out, but uh, just letting everyone know the potential, uh, and you know one you know don't want everyone to hold back. Just share your ideas, but if you're also going to be leading them with the idea, be open to you know, following it through. So it's just one of those things. But anyway, family, the call is open. Press star six to unmute yourself. All right, so Brother Kofi, you're going to lead by example the project you're talking about. You're going to make it happen. And uh, you're going to share updates with us. Uh, as a matter of fact, any of us that's working on any project, this every once in a while, maybe every week or so, just say, hey, this is... Uh, this is who, uh, this you know, your name in, or if you're working with a group of us, hey, this is the update. Now, I, do, I do my best to try to send updates, but um, that will help. Uh, and then for those who are ready to move forward, so let's add them to the WhatsApp group to, you know, literally just be a part of a, our active group. Then just, you know, reach out to me as I begin to just add people little by little. Yeah, I, I submit to that. We're working on this. That's my purpose in life. This is, this is what I have, so... What the heck? That's what's up, man. Disappear on us, right? <laughs> no, uh, no. I mean, I got a lot going on, but I, I could call. I call my my mother there, and then we work together. Probably, probably, um, we in contact with that land commission. See what we need to do. Um, see how we can put down a fight plan and uh, consensus building in with everyone. See what we need to do. This is important. Yeah. That's perfect. I know everybody wondering what about what is this document we're talking about, and I apologize. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the sending emails with certain documents that's not scanned and organized. You, you can like, literally look back on what I've sent anyone, and you'll see that it's always typed, cut, shaped, neat, organized. That's just my mindset. Everything has to be organized and laid out and things like that, or it's it's confusing. Uh, so. Just give me a few days uh, to uh, get our lawyer to this, send it to me the way I need it uh, when you get back to his office. He did get it to me towards the end of the week when he was out, so he did his best to just take a photo of it, which you know, uh, gave us a chance to at least talk about a few things in that. 
But uh, um, Kofi, let me mute you and get someone else on the line. All right, so family, it is star six to unmute yourself. And uh, like I was saying, family, if anyone wants to share updates, we have the Facebook page, which is more general, and we have the specific WhatsApp page. So my name is Matrell. Greetings, sister. Welcome to the call. Hi. Yeah, I was wondering, okay, I, I think I heard you guys say that the land is located somewhere near Winneba. Is it like going back towards Accra, or is it going towards Cape Coast? Yeah, when we'll put you in the middle, it's about an hour and a half from Cape Coast, an hour and a half from Accra. And but, it's, but it's actually in Winneba, though, that city. No, it's a town outside of Winneba. I've gotten, like, three different names for the town, but it's like... Okay. Yeah, so that's why it was important to get the survey done, so that we're, you know, because it's easy to, to put your, the GPS in the wrong location, but it's just a few different small towns. But, um, okay. But, uh, you, but, yeah, the main thing is it's, it's in the Winneba region, uh, which is basically... Okay. In a greater uh, Winneba. Okay. Yes, that's why you're, you're going to be golfing over there. You know what? Winneba didn't even. Ha I was trying to find a golf course there. They, they don't have one. <laughs> hey. But um. But that's a that's something to build. <laughs> I can get you ten acres on. The, I can get you ten acres. <laughs> I mean, they they have about a hundred acres right there, so it's as simple as. That's why once we get a little something set, folks who yeah. want like a. Like, hey, I want to build this, I want to do this, I want to, you know, I want to build a thing. It's great for tourists. It would be a great tourist spot yeah, and from yeah. what I'm looking at. But, and, you know, I'm going to be there for a minute, so I, I have, I'm going to be in Winnable for, like, five days, and that's why I was kind of asking where it is because I'd like to, you know, kind of meet some folks and, you know, do whatever I can while I'm there. Oh, absolutely, yeah, you know. We'll get you the direct GPS coordinates, you know how we do, digitally high tech. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. All right, so family, the line is open. And uh, let me look back on what we have left on the newsletter. So on the newsletter, you'll see the, you know, the voting um, once you, excuse me, you know, once you go past the next few topics, uh, which is just kind of what we're talking about, prime objectives, business opportunities, volunteers for specific uh, projects and committees, and future projections. So, those are all the things that we're talking about and um, that we just went through. Uh, so I've covered all of the topics. So just looking to get some uh, questions for anyone who want to share anything. And um, while we're looking at this document, uh, you see voting, you'll see the new map layout of Ghana. And then um, what I look to do is just add some more details and information about the project we're working on and, and fill in more of the, um, the newsletter. But yeah, this is uh, the second uh, conference call that we just focus in directly on this community. But also, there's a few other communities. There's one in the mountains, a um, good brother DC and his brother uh, Ringo, they're doing it. Um, that's the Moving Forward Investment Group. Uh, so that's in the Dodoa Mountains. And then um, you have the Pan-African Village in Cebu, um, uh, right there in our Cape Coast. And that's a whole lot of land. Uh, so. Looking to wish the best for all of us to bring in a new phase of black people organizing to build black communities because uh, you know, it's been a letdown with, uh, and I don't want to condemn anyone that's came before us, but it's been a letdown of the, the lack of progress, a lack of organized you know, flow of looking to put these things together to reach out to the rest of us. So um, these are the other two people I mentioned, you know, I know everyone in the parties that everyone that's the, the main people in both of the organization and we as a people we're together we're strong we're you know good friends and you know we're wishing us all the best and looking to pull for each other so I'm looking to this that everyone know we're looking this to take things to a whole you know, a whole new level and this you know and focus our time more on and connecting our resources and what we can do so I spend most of my time working on all the projects that we talk about so I don't really do much of anything else, um, but I've been here in this country too long anyway. So it was like anything else I needed to have done, I should have done already. But uh, this is a you know a new wave and new exciting motion of just us being able to have our own communities, uh, being able to define more of our destiny, but with support from the rest of us as you know, because most of us have the same mind and focus, 
and that's why you know, I'm asking you know, any you know, troublemakers and or any unorganized person just leave your troubles and your drama where it's at and let's focus on what needs to be focused. That's for those who are traveling with me or those who are doing business with me and it's all the same. Let's you know, we'll, you know when we connect and everything, let's make the best of everything that we're working on and make it work. You know, we have lost enough time as a people. You know, so our goal is to keep on keeping everyone posted via email on any major updates or conference calls or anything. And anyone that's not on this, the general email list, you know, send me an email, let me know, and I'll add you to it. I have different people on the MailChimp newsletter. It goes out to everyone in the email list, but some people have subscribed and some people have added themselves. But that's just a general list. But I have a specific email list for those who are part of our community and those who are showing interest. So whenever we finalize anything and send applications and send certain things, you know, be sent to that list. Uh, so if you haven't gotten any specific email from me in reference to that, uh, in, in reference to any of the um, you know, the Ghana Repatriation Initiative in this community in general, uh, and just let me know. But uh, outside that, family, we have a few more minutes. Don't want to hold everyone uh, any longer than we should. But definitely like to get some more people in, input. Brother Bramani, greetings from Blaston here. Greetings, Blaston. How are you? How are you? How you been? I am doing well, looking better to be better than well, and getting to the stratosphere of being excellent. It's a term you use, so I'm striving for that. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yes, uh, I have a couple of questions here. Oh, sure, go ahead. Uh, how, yes, are there, there anyone in the Jihadi region or in Ghana, wherever, that is, a con, that is a potential contact that we could reach out to and ask them to show us the location because, as you uh, might be aware, there are a few of us that will be going down there in a few weeks' time. Absolutely, Lesson. I definitely have you on that. And what I'll do is I can send you the, um, the message of the contact person, the two contact person uh, via WhatsApp. Uh, so one will be um, our attorney, uh, Richard, and the other will be our consultant, uh, Kwabina. And then as um, time goes along, we'll have a better setup for meeting on the land and everything. Do you have anyone who have whether uh, professionals or any other experience who might be able to assist in the layout of the development plan once we can supply them with some of the contents of what it is we would like to have on the property initially and how many lots for our plots rather residential plots we would like to have initially uh, perfect I may answer um uh, your last uh, question. As far as the, uh, the land layout, so what we have to do right now, since we know how big it is, we can start allocating a certain part for a community center and then the you know, basic business district. But for those who literally want to do more commercials and have a direct business plan and a layout, the goal is to get um, you know, to get everyone actual land close by to build different projects. The, the idea is to just be clear about who want to build certain business that way we can see what we can build in the you know, because it is a small community it doesn't have like a full you know in a full commercial district so you know one of the ideas is to just say hey talk to the owner once we get everything clear and say we just want to add another five acres to you know, to the property and so on and so on and that's why we can't really close oh. it up right now yeah uh, yes I, I do understand. Uh, but once we can, uh, once we at least know how many, uh, uh, what the size of the plot, then we can determine or allocate to certain areas would be a commercial district, another other areas would be residential, and then we can probably, with the help of a professional or otherwise, someone who can assist us in that area, we can begin to lay out the plot, the streets and the green air areas, et cetera. And uh, from then on, at least, hopefully we can begin to work on that soon because, as you know, some of us are pretty anxious 
in getting those things done so that we can begin to identify where and what um, we would like to get started on. Absolutely, and those are just uh, great questions and concerns, and that's the direction that uh, needs to be worked on. But as far as uh, having like one or two direct people, uh, that's where we're looking to start from. And uh, I've had a lot of people reach out to me over a period of time, and a lot of people reach out to me over things that we haven't, haven't gotten to. So I do have a few people that uh, we need to reach out to, and what we have to get them once we get this uh, that paperwork finalized uh, is just the survey of the land, and uh, they'll be able to project that. And then also for those of us who are looking to work on this project, you can give recommendations as far as this idea of a layout, like say this is where we maybe should put more of a commercial district and put this type of homes and things like that. Uh, so it's, you know, it's definitely something that uh, we have to communicate about. But as far as just the professional part of it, absolutely. want to get the best of us that know how to do everything to be on this project. Um, and you know, even beyond us, the two builders that we have already. Yeah, so it's all a matter of this, us communicating with those people or, or you know, someone that's forwarded the information say, hey, this is someone that I recommend or someone that I checked out um, and, and so on. But I'm definitely open to that. Okay. Um, one other final question. How many people do we have on the list so far whose resources or funds that you have that already accounts for a number of lots, say 10 or 20. How many do we have than those people? Oh, yes. Yeah, so right now, it's uh, uh, 25 people. So you have funds or 25 people is already vested in the, in yeah, the land, and they're, and they're waiting for... Uh, a plot that will be available and possible they can start to determine or get their building plan ready. Yeah, the 25 represent a transfer over from people that were either in progress, uh, which is just a few. In, okay, our previous, okay. From okay, 25. Yeah, that's what, yeah, as far, and then I have a whole list of people who wanted to be a part of that project, but, you know, you know once we stop, we just stopped, and I told everybody else to hold on. Let's let's get something that will work for you. That way, you don't have to deal with the same drama. Uh, okay. So uh, those twenty-five would be pretty much uh, the forefront for whatever will be available, or they can uh, they will have the option to determine after we have allocated the residential area, they can choose lots from among the first. Yes, absolutely. It's the reality okay. of the situation. The project was made because of those individuals. So they're okay. there. You know, so once we edit the um, the applications and work everything over, we just every, you know when people start getting lot numbers, they fill everything in, and this this kind of just continue from where we you know left off at because it's a it's a lot of time everyone put into putting all those things together and sending it over. And, you know so. And then uh, shown on the receipt the credit uh, that's given, and even though we're still waiting for some of the money, and literally to work those things out in clarity for each individual. Some people, their situation is different, and you know, so putting those things on that receipt and getting th those th those the 25 people to pick lots that'll be just the, the really the foundation of the the project, and then. Um, and from there on, um, you know, we'll still have a whole lot more land uh, for everyone else, but it's just only the right thing to do. Except, you know, because basically you guys already started already. You have everything in. It is important, you know, that we understand. For those who are listening now that are silently listening, it is important that the initiators are those who are willing to be the pioneers to go in now. They would be like the leaders for those who will come after because there will be stumpers and many things that needs to be done, uh, but they will be taking the initial risk uh, to go in even before some of the other major developments and other infrastructures are there. Yes, absolutely. So, so, so that's why we have you know, several incentives, uh, because at the end of the day, um, and then even so, once the, the, the 20-something uh, acres is gone, then now what we have to get the other land for is, is a, you know, it's a little bit more money. Uh, if we so, want to expand, yes. 
you know, so at the end of the day, you know, that's also this, that's a situation that, you know, you take some loss, but also just getting things for a better price and end up getting started right away. And uh, so just want everyone that's on standby to, and especially if they're ready, just to just email me so I can get them going. But for them to realize that um, they don't have to wait in a long list. It's, you know, it's like as soon as we get the plots laid out, within within you know within a few days, those of us who have already you know can just say these are our plots and. You know, some of us are looking to get different homes, so um, you know that's why I really wanted to get something laid out so we can have an idea. But just letting everyone know that you know that uh, you know we have them covered and you know, everything that we're doing is in reference to making sure that you you know you're good and you're you're, you're comfortable and, and and that's why I say that anything that's not clear, let's communicate. Is, are all the plots are the lots are they going to be the same size? Oh uh, yes, um, it's, it's eighty by one hundred. Um, that's um, all of the. Uh, so that ended up being four, you know, four plots per acre. Okay, um, and and I would imagine that sometimes what you do have a pie shaped lot, and that might have a few more square feet over and above. Uh, we're the ones that have to cut it up because what it is is just twenty. It's just flat land and so we're going to have to do the, the, the slice number. But the goal is to, to cut it to where it, it looks organized and it's not just all okay. over the place. Um, okay. And that's why a few of us are going to do a few drafts that we can all look at and kind of see how to lay the you know, community out. And then also if someone wants more than one plot, you know, we can do that. Um, they just have to be clear that you know, if you want another plot, it's not a discount or anything. It's the same setup. Um, but also okay. if you want multiple plots, that's where we can further okay. the back. But if somebody wants like a whole lot of acreage, we can work a separate deal and they can still be a part of the community. So it's a deal that we're trying to set up to where it's flexible and it opens up to where we can literally build from a 10-acre community to build an expansion up to over 100 acres. Uh, but you know, it's kind of like, like starting off small versus doing a project that's like 300 acres and then you just like you just get lost for like two decades. Working things a smart approach, and this based on the communication of others that are actively just we're communicating to working on the project. Okay, that pretty much answers my question. All right, cool, perfect. Uh, talking with you. We'll keep in touch. Yes, well, I'll be listening then, and the sideline here. All right, uh, perfect. All right, so everyone, the line is open for another few minutes. Uh, it is star six to meet yourself, and uh, what we're talking about is the Black Star repatriation and Pan African community in progress, in process, and the um, surveying that we just got done for 23.67 acres of land, and um, we'll get a um, MOU stating that. We'll, you know, we'll work the payments and segments and things like that. Uh, so those documents will be are being worked on and be sent over. But beyond that, just um, wonder if anyone have any questions. If anyone wants to volunteer for the many millions of things that we got to do to get it done. Any greetings? Uh, hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah, could you send us a list of the volunteer projects that are available? I'm going to create a list of volunteer projects. Yes, sir. Right. As far as yourself, absolutely, I'll definitely do that. And yes. uh, I'll keep, uh, yeah, let's keep a nice updated list. Uh, so, uh, beyond that, how, how you been? Man, I'm, I'm functional, brother. How about yourself? Uh, yes, uh, just uh, working this process day by day. I know, I know, I know. And we were, and you and I will wrap later on this week. Um, that way, cause I, I was late for this one here. My my, uh, my my stuff didn't come on properly. So, um, but we'll talk later on this week. But I'd like to have a list of the volunteer project that way I can know just where I can be effective and shoot and get an idea where everybody else is effective. Uh, great point. 
And uh, you know, one of the other thing is, uh, do have a list of committees. Uh, it's just trying to get it, you know, to lay out a little more organized, and, and I don't want to just throw people together. But uh, but yeah, so that and you know, those two things I'll be working on. Uh, so right. And especially with the organization, I'd like to uh, um, be up on what on what that is too, because that might be a. Uh, um, it might be something we could accelerate some, if, you know, if I know some of what was going on. I mean, it's something we can accelerate with. But yeah, absolutely. I'm sure you got some great ideas, so we'll definitely link up. Yes, brother. Yes, and uh, uh, also, um, you, have, you have any prospective target dates for the initialization uh, of actually, you know, for, for the repatriation? Uh, yeah, dates are, you know, it's like give dates and you just keep changing them. As far as moving there, uh, you know, it'll be ideal dealing a few years, but it's like the main thing with people like myself is um, my mind and body is in a, in a space building of, of, you know, technology and business stuff, and, you know, it'd be nice to just pick it up and move it over, but um, don't have the infrastructure there set up working this technique. Uh, so the main thing is to build this community, and it's, it's always been one of those priorities to put, you know, more of your resources into that than... You know, to individual operation and basically move to Ghana to you know, operate the same. Try to harness more of our resources, community living. Uh, so hopefully in a few years, um, and hopefully all of the, the pieces that's missing and other elements um, come out. Uh, but at the same time, too, we, you know, we keep moving what we have, and you know, a lot of times we just have the unfortunate, just a lot of spectators. Yes. Yeah, yeah uh, we'll talk um, and let me just close out and uh, get a little bit late. Okay, good enough. We'll get your rest on and uh, we'll talk later on. All right, so family, I appreciate everybody's time and energy. Uh, it is beautiful Sunday, October 27th, and we are about uh, two months away from physically being there uh, in this community we talk about. So looking forward to this, uh, you know, getting some nice documentation and letting you just have a better visual of what we talk about. So other than that, family, um, if anything, uh, just reach out to me. And beyond that, um, keep you posted via Facebook, uh, email, and WhatsApp. Uh, good night, bro. All right, keep it strong.